Hello everyone, Taylor Johnson here. I wanted to give you a look at the July statistics for uh, real estate in the Washington DC region. Um, as you can see, once again, sales are down over last year, uh, but the median sales price is actually up 4.8%. Last month it was just pretty much steady even. Uh, this month it's gone up almost 5%. And um, New listings continue to decrease, uh, 34%. Um, and uh, we've got months of supply remains low at 1.3. So uh, this new listings number here, 34 down, is actually a two decade low. So um, we're just not getting the number of homes for sale on the market, which presents tremendous challenges for buyers and uh, holds the prices steady and creates affordability issues. Um, normally the summer does slow things down a little bit, but we haven't really seen that this year. Um, we have uh, prices rising faster in the suburbs where housing is slightly more affordable. And um, there were about 50% fewer homes on the market than we had before inventory, uh, before the pandemic. We're going to continue to see this low inventory as an issue. Uh, mortgage rates are holding between six and a half, seven percent 7%, somewhere in that area. Uh, with the market remaining competitive, affordability remains a concern. Prospective home buyers will have to look at different neighborhoods uh, or compromise on other factors in order to be successful. And sellers still have the upper hand. Um, but many homeowners are locked into uh, very low rates and they are reluctant to sell uh, and buy a new house at a higher rate. Uh, so they hold on. And um, I, I guess another thing to say here is I read recently in Maryland uh, Realtors that that they estimate a combined uh, if you combine together mortgage rates, higher mortgage interest rates, and higher uh, sales prices together, that has created an estimated loss of buying power of around one hundred eighteen thousand dollars for the average buyer. That's a significant affordability challenge. Um, closed sales, uh, it's interesting to note that condos posted a steeper decline in closed sales than either single family or detached homes. Um, and new pending sales, I'm not going to work about that. No sale price here. Um, median sales price jumped, but detached homes had a much smaller increase of 2% compared to attached homes of 4.6 and condos of 5.7. Overall, the median home price in the region is nearly 30% higher than it was in 2019, which again has put great pressure on affordability. Um, I also wanted to point out to you we look at showings here, we can see that the upward trend, even though showings year over year are down, uh, month to month, the upward trend is increasing. So buyers are back in the market. Um, if we look at local markets, we can see that um, we've got, you know, closed sales are down across the board. Median sales price is a mixed bag. Some areas it's up, some areas it's down, uh, which gives us the average of 4.8 for the region. Uh, but most regions this past month had an increase in price with DC down 3%. Last month, DC was down 16%. So uh, this is um, a, bit of, a bit of an improvement. Uh, but it also shows you that uh, D.C., again, remains uh, one of the places where it's relatively a bargain compared to others. 
and your days on market is a little bit higher in DC, um, whereas uh, it's about a week in everywhere else. This means you got to move really quickly in all these other places. Um, new listings uh, continue to be down everywhere, but uh, not quite so much down in DC compared to others. So this helps explain why there's a little bit more inventory in DC than there is in other places. And uh, the months of supply in DC actually dipped below three this past month, uh, which is the first time in several months. Uh, we've got less than three months of supply. Everywhere else is about a month. Again, uh, if you have not seen this before, uh, the months of supply means if we stop, uh, if there are no new homes that come on the market, how long will it take to sell all the homes currently on the market? Um, and so that would say in uh, Alexandria City, it would take just over a month to sell all the homes currently on the market. Six months of supply is a balanced market. Anything under the six is a seller's market. Three is a really tight market. And that's, that's where we are right now with DC. Um, and we can see the home demand index uh, in DC is around 82 um, compared to say uh, Fairfax County or uh, Arlington County or Alexandria County. Um, these areas where demand is 135, 129, these are super, super, super competitive. There's like almost no inventory. Homes are just flying off the shelf as soon as they're put on it. Um, this is a really hard place to be a buyer. If you are flexible, DC is a little better, right? Um, Montgomery County could potentially be a little better depending on where you are in the county. Um, so, all right, um, this is uh, really what it's telling you here. Um, if you'd like some help navigating through this, if you'd like a copy of the full report, please let me know. If you uh, thought this video was useful, please like it. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, um, and that will help other folks who are uh, like-minded find it, and uh, it will be a benefit to them as well. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Taylor Johnson with Keller Williams Capital Properties. I'm part of the Eng Garcia team, and I'm here to be a resource for you. So if I can uh, provide anything for you or answer any questions or uh, give you some advice, please reach out. Um, have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.